Right, hello, oi oi, welcome to the Blind Man's Podcast, and I'm going to um, do some new stuff on here as well as podcasts, just to keep it interesting. Um, I'm going to start and do food reviews, seeing as I'm a fat git and I love food, it's in the Bass family, we love Waskran. Um, I'm never going to do beer reviews, because for two reasons, one, I'm blind and I simply just can't read what's on the can or the bottle. Yes, I can smell and taste it, but I'm going to leave it to the professionals, to my good friends, Paul's Beer Reviews, Scott and Wonder, John's Brewery, Lord's Brewing, and Raggy. They're the professionals, they do the beers. This fat bugger does the food. Um, big shout as well to Paul's Beer Reviews. Lord's Brewing, Scott and Wonders World and Raggy's Wines, Beers and Spirits. Go and subscribe to their channels if you haven't already because they're mint. But anyway, my first ever food review. And I thought because of the concept of what it is, I'd do it with my daughter Maya. Because she, she knows her stuff when it comes to chocolate. She's been eating it most of her bloody life. So, say hello Maya. Hello. So, it is... <laughs> You'll have to tell us if it's the right way around. Yeah. It's the drumstick. Chocolate. Wow. Now, that's one thing that I never thought would ever happen. I liked drumstick lollies when I was a kid. And of course, who doesn't love chocolate? It's drumstick chocolate. Crazy. But here we go. We'll give it a go. Let's get this open. Now it doesn't smell like it has drumstick lolly in it at all, so I don't know where they're going with this, but what the hell, let's give it a gun. It's chocolate, I'm sure it's going to be nice. We'll have a bit for me, we'll have a bit for Maya. Now I'll do it first, in fact no I'll let you do it first because you're a kid and you're the master of chocolate here. So I want you to just bite into it. And then tell us what you think after. I'm not picking my nose, by the way. It's just itchy. I've just shaved my head and there's hair all over. I probably will end up growing my hair back. But it this is... It doesn't really taste like chocolate drumsticks. It doesn't taste like drumstick lollies. Let's yeah, have a go. It has a hint of it, but like... It's good, though. <laughs> You get a chocolate kick at the beginning, obviously, and Maya's right, when you first chew into it, the you don't get drumstick, but then... The aftertaste, you can taste mm -hmm. it. At the very back end... You get a little hint of the lolly. Once you've swallowed it, and you let the chocolate hit the palate mm -hmm. of your taste buds, you start to think that you're actually eating a drumstick lolly. So, mm. well done drumstick. It worked. At first it tastes like a different kind of chocolate. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, oh, it just tastes like drumsticks. It kind of reminds me of like... Hmm. It kind of reminds me of like lint kind of chocolate. And then all of a sudden the drumstick just bursts into your mouth. So it's like you're eating chocolate and then you're eating a drumstick lolly. So they've kind of made it, made it work, actually, to be fair. like To me, it tastes, you know, the, um, the dairy milk chocolate that has the like, pot and candy in it. Mm -hmm. That one. And then it tastes really good. It's, it's a weird taste, but it's nice. It's very melty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it does melt quick. But to be fair, we haven't had this in the fridge. So... It's a very strange one. It's it's really nice. I can't deny it. It's it's absolutely beautiful. But if you eat too much, it kind of gets sick. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't half blag your head. <laughs> it tries to mess with your brain. It makes, it, like I said, it makes you think you're eating chocolate, and then all of a sudden, you think you're chewing on a drumstick lolly. I feel like I'm eating chocolate candy. Mm -hmm. 
But I'm not gonna. Like I'm not gonna eat any more of that. You can have the rest of that whenever you want. Thanks. Um, drumstick chocolate. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best chocolate I've ever had in my life. It does have a very nostalgic feel to it as a child, though, enjoying drumsticks. But I got that from my local offy. I can't remember how much it was because my, my wife Clary bought it, not me. Um, one pound. One pound. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, one pound. A quid. So if you love drumsticks and you love chocolate, go and give it a go. It's actually really nice. Um, I probably wouldn't run to the shop for it um, a lot. But it is nice if you're scratching around for chocolate and it's there. Um, I'm going to give it... Because I like drumstick lollies and it brought back a bit of a nostalgic childhood memory, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. What are you going to give it, Maya? Well, if I'm honest, I didn't really like it that much. So I'll give it a 4 out of 10. Oh, savage, straight off the bat. It just... It just tasted weird and it's making me feel a bit sick. Mm. It's just too chocolatey. So there you go. I think you've got to have a bit of a sweet tooth. I'll admit, like, it wasn't the best, but there you go. So, drumstick chocolate. Go out and get it. Um, if you want to see more food reviews with me or me and Maya, let me know. Put it in the comments section. Um, like and sub to the channel. And um, if you've got any ideas as well of what you want us to review... Put that in the comment section, I'll give it a go. If I like it, of course. But um, it's Blind Man's Podcast. Food reviews. Peace. Now you can stop the video. <laughs>